Howdy, folks. <clears throat> it has been a hot little minute because it's been a hot day every damn day. And I haven't really felt like getting out and fishing. Or I just haven't been able to catch anything because it's too dang hot. Well, today ain't no different. It is about 4 in the afternoon. It is about 95 degrees. But I figure I may as well go to the shop. And I'm out here at my favorite little local area of the Lake Conway Spillway, which is just spilling a little bit. And it don't look super hot at the moment. And I don't plan to fish right here below it. I am going through the woods and I'm going downstream to fish a little creek below because it is shaded there. Shade is important. And fishing, this is important because in about a month, the end of August, they're going to drain the lake. And if they drain the lake, my little fishing spot is going to dry up. So, not really sure what's going to happen with that. I know it's got like a five-year restoration project before they refill and restock it. And once they restock it, who knows how long it'll take for the fish to get halfway decent again. So, I'm going to try to hit it up as much as I can. Maybe I'll actually fish the real lake. See what I can find. But, till then... See if I can catch something today. The thing's all nice and overgrown. The water's nice and still. A couple folks out here, not too busy. But anyway, I'm gonna take my walk through the woods. Hopefully the mosquitoes ain't too bad. Hopefully the mud ain't too bad. And hopefully the fishing is good. I'll see you when we get down there. All right, here we are, down at the creek. It's uh, not too far from where the main water, just around that bend there, is where it really opens up, and then it thins out and creeks up down here so as always first things first we need to get a shrimp in the water I brought a few little pieces of shrimp not a lot because I didn't bring my cooler didn't want them to get super thawed out or waste any so I just brought a few pieces but they're extra large so if I break them in half I should get 10 good pieces of bait yeah, they're a little smaller than I thought. I thought I bought jumbo. These seem like they're uh, just regular large, but should still get the job done. Take us a little piece. Put it on the hook. They're already kind of thawed because they've been in the car for half an hour. And I'm just going to toss this right over there, kind of towards those branches. Where did I put my rod holder? There it is. Rod in. Tighten it up a little. I think I threw it on a snag. Yeah, it's fine. And I've got my light action here. Line seems good. And I've got it rigged up ow, with this little bitty jig with the really long curly tailed little minnow type thing on it. Pink and green. I don't know if that's going to work here. Especially since it looks like mostly what I might catch are gar, but give it a shot i know there's crappie in here there's bass in here they should like it gar might bite it but i think they'll just rip it up i don't know if i'll get that single hook in them but we'll see what happens it doesn't cast super far because it's really light but uh this creek's not exactly wide so i think it'll be fine Something's got a tight line. That didn't take too long. Feels pretty all right. Let's get the net down here. What do we got here? It feels pretty heavy. Can't see it. I see my weight, but the water's so murky. It's a big freaking turtle. Well, that's why it felt heavy. Big old soft shell turtle. 
Well, let's see if I can get him out of there. You got that all the way down. I'm just going to have to cut the line on this guy. That ain't coming out. I can't even see the hook. He's got some whoop, slippery mud. He's got such a long neck. <sighs> That's not how I wanted to start this. I got enough line there I can at least retie a hook, I guess. There's plenty of damn gar around. Getting them to bite seems to be a whole nother story. Maybe they just don't like my, uh, <clears throat> my little wiggly dude here. Frankly, can't say I like him that much either. Oh, I didn't do that. Something's got tight line again. Hopefully it's not another damn turtle. Probably a gar since I just pulled it out of his mouth. Yep, he stripped me off too. I will say that was probably a gar, damn it. All right, since my hook was all dinged up, <clears throat> switched out to an eight ounce rooster tail, just bright old silver. First one I came across. And there's some sunlight around, so it'll probably, it'll probably work out. Everything loves a rooster tail. So we'll see what uh, we can catch. Something's got the tight line again. It's not taking long for that thing to get super hit. Hopefully not another turtle. Don't like dealing with that. I don't feel like anything's there anymore. Yeah. Stripped off again. Hmm. Well, I'm getting bites. And since it's getting stripped off, I don't know for sure that it's turtles, so I'm gonna I'm gonna ride this one out a little bit more, but I'm already on my third piece of shrimp. So I don't know. I don't know. I do have some other baits that comes down to it, so I can I can sacrifice the shrimp for now. Ooh, there's a little gar. Hey little gar, look at this. Ah, he bit it. Ooh, something really just bit that. I don't think that was me. Could have been me, I guess. We'll check it. I don't feel anything there. Shrimp's still on. All right, maybe it was me. Don't ignore me. Stop ignoring me. He ignored me. You can kind of see him over there still. But he's like right under my line. I don't want there he goes off the other way all right all right intercept course so go grab it grab it ah had him He's just right here in front of me I like their smart creatures still down there no well seems to be the best gar around here but I've 
I've had him bite this thing like three times. I don't know how much more he will. Scar are so fun to play with because you get it in front of them, they usually they're going to bite it. And you can see them a lot of times. So instead of just blindly casting around, it's nice to just target something, regardless of how incredibly difficult and frustrating it is trying to hook them. At least you know you're doing something instead of just hoping you run across a fish. Plus, they got real cool teeth. Oh, yep. That was something. There's another gar right there. About right there. And he's going back down. Yep. Ah! And for a second, he's still just right here. Something's got the tight line again. Gar. Alright, I think that's it for the tight line on this spot. I can feel that one there. I'm really hoping to get a catfish or a bowfin on the shrimp, so I don't want to waste it all on gar because, you know, I can see the gar there and I can throw a rooster tail at him. Ugh. So that's what I'm going to do here for a minute. See if I can finally land one. I got one. Um, let's see if it'll stay on long enough for me to get over to my net. These guys are real thin and slippery. Hard to hold. So I'd like to net him. Come here, little guy. Whoop. And there he goes. Well, at least I got to fight with him a little bit. Okay. That's, that's something. There's a car. Right up here by the shore. Hey, bud. There's a big one. I caught the goddamn stick right next to him. He's still there, though. He's right on the shore. Like, just chilling right up against the bank. There we go. No. Well, I'm not catching the fish, but uh, at least I'm getting a little excitement out of it. It's always fun to watch these big guys jump around. You don't see guards just launch out like that too often. I also like just watching these bugs scatter as my lure comes through. It's kind of fun. Ugh, everything's so overgrown. Why you gotta you gotta grow so well, plants? I liked it when there wasn't much of you, and everything just worked out all nice and fine. A lot of turtles right here just now. Not particularly deep out there. I don't know if this spot's worth it. Not. Oh, oh, that was. Hell of a hit. Oh, we still got it. Why's my drag so loose? Don't go into the tree. 
There's a log over there. I want to get him over here. Is that a bowfin or a catfish? He's rolling around, so I'm gonna guess it's a catfish. Yeah, that's a channel cat. Over all this stuff. Come here, you. It's a real long one. Not particularly heavy, but really long. All right, all right, first fish landed. I'll take it. Got my hook doing all kinds of stuff down in here. I'm getting it, I'm getting it. There we go, hook out. Finally, caught us the fish again. Not very fat, but he's very long. If he was, you know, the proper weight for his length, he'd be like four pounds maybe. But he's maybe like one and a half at most. But I'll take it. I'm happy. Thank you. Hey, stop it. He's getting to figure it out. There he goes. All right. All right. Decided right here because I'm not surrounded by trees like I would be kind of over there. I'm going to try one piece right here underneath where all this stuff's at. Doesn't need to go out super deep. Hopefully there's a little gar coming to check it out. Those little guys are probably going to strip me out. But I'm gonna at least let that happen. And then I wanna try one over by that tree. And that'll be it for the shrimp here. I gotta, gotta be a little more sparing and tactical with my shrimp. I do have another form of like stink bait nuggets, but the shrimp. Well, now I throw my lure right into the branch and yep, good. But yeah, the, sh the shrimp's where it's at. They like the shrimp. There we go. Oh, it's a, no, no, that's a little gar. It popped up next to it. That's gotta be something good. I was right. It's another catfish. Strong little catfish. It's not very big. Yeah, another catfish. And he, again, not very big, but he's strong and long. Ugh. I know he's not the same catfish because I know where my hook was at on the other catfish. Actually, it might be the same catfish, because I think, no, because my hook was over on this side, but I also ripped a little chunk of him out right there and unhooking him, so. Similar, but not the same. Hooks out. Oh yeah, he's, he's much smaller than the last one, but again, Long and skinny, but hey, another real fish. So I'll take that. Well, we caught our, our fish here under the branches, I guess now we'll see if there's one over by the tree. All right, little guy. Back you go. Well, there's me a stick. Mighty stick too. Kind of ruined that spot, I guess. Yeah. Ugly sticks can haul in big old sticks. That's that's me bumping my rod. There we go. Finally gonna land one. Come here, little buddy. You still on? Yeah, you're still on. Don't don't tangle up in my other line. You know, I can land it over there. Okay, okay, we can go over there. 
Come here. There we go. Finally landed the gar. All right. That's pretty nice. Tighten that back up. Let's see what you got going on here, pal. You got snagged in the gill. That's not good. All right. Let me see if I can get that out of there. All right. It's out. Let me see if I can pick you up. Doubt I will. I need you to open your mouth. Nope, okay. Well, well mouth's open. All right, well, picked him up. Have it. A little bitty short nose gar. Definitely hooked into some better ones, but you know, gar's a gar. Finally caught one. Away he goes. Luckily, they're real tough fish, so he shouldn't he shouldn't exactly be hurt. Maybe just a little sore. Yep, oh, there's another little gar. All right, little guy. Yep, oh, there he goes. Easy release. I've already picked up one gar today, so I don't really care if I uh, handle all the rest of them. Get them on, get an easy release, that's okay. Well, back in the tree. Oh, well, I think there goes the rooster tail. Said that once already, but pretty confident of it this time. Eh, it felt like it broke. Alright, I got a six ounce rooster tail now. I know it looks silver, but uh, it used to be, you can see a little bit on the bottom, it used to be green and blue and yellow. It's, uh, it's had a rough life, which is why it is now going to be used here. Because if I lose it, so be it. This thing deserves to be put to rest. Maybe with it being larger, it'll get a little more attention. Son of a bitch! Of course, right when I get over here, something hits my tight line Ugh, real hard. Shit. Mud, slippery. They let go. See if I got any bait. See if I can get tangled up in all the damn trees. Feels like it stripped me out. No, I still got it. That's odd. Well, the damn thing, get back out there. Put you over by that tree. I guess I'm gonna sit here and wait now. I think I'm going to save my last little shrimp here. I got one more little bitty tiny half. Well, not little bitty, but I got one little half of a shrimp left. I'm going to head back over to the dam, fish the lakeside. Yeah, the not so fun part about getting back to the dam, going through this. Because instead of going back all through the woods, I'm just, there's a road right here. Figure I'll just hop up onto it. But I gotta go through this tall stuff. High steps, hard stomps. There we go. That way I can let any snakes know that I'm coming and they need to move. Even the road is overgrown as hell. Come on. 
Well, I got a long walk back. Back at the dam on the lakeside. Lost my shrimp somewhere along the way. It was a rough journey, very overgrown everywhere. A lot of uh, fallen logs to climb over. Now I got a hook in my hand again. Ow. Fuck. I got one shrimp left. This will be my last huzzah here. Well, maybe not last. It just depends on how loud all these families are. But, I'm just gonna throw this out. I expect it to snag up and break off. But, uh, I'm just gonna let it sit. Either so that happens or it gets eaten. Last shrimp. Go. All right. Get that tightened up. That'll be good. And our beat up rooster tail. Luckily, it's still really silver. So, I mean, should still do the job. Put my sunlight around here. A lot of real murky though. Did I just break my own line? I'm pretty sure I was trying to miss it, but I think I just snapped my own line with that cast somehow. Don't see how it could have been that freaking weak. What the hell? Yeah, that cast just broke the line. It's like it cut right through it. That doesn't make any sense. <sighs> well, I may as well throw a few more casts here. Hopefully I can catch something. I doubt I will, though. I think I'm done. Super hot, super sweaty, my back hurts. Super hungry, I haven't eaten anything today. In fact, the only thing I've really ingested all day is two cups of coffee about 14 hours ago. So I think this is probably as good a time as any to call it and go find something to eat. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay. Well, this is all tangled up. How does this always happen? It doesn't make any damn sense to me. Take that off. Put that there. Pull this camera off my damn head. Well, y'all, uh, y'all made it this far. Congrats, I guess. <clears throat> I did catch some fish. Got to see some cool gardu stuff. I caught a largemouth bass, but my camera, I guess, wasn't on. Uh, that's the hazard of having it on my head. I don't know what's going on with it. But, uh, thanks for tuning in. I can hopefully find some more stuff to do that doesn't burn me out on this heat. So, till then, see ya.